And I remember you telling me that um, uh, during the war, your father hadn't um, had his naturalisation papers completed. So yeah. what happened? Yeah, well, Dad, uh, before the war, put in be naturalised, but at the time uh, he wouldn't have a, the post office that handy, so he had the papers there for a few months, and uh, then the war broke out, so that would have been 1939, I uh, They send them back. And uh, so he was interned and had to go to Alice Springs up there for a, a year or so because then there was a uh, mosaic flooring company that needed men to work in the cement here in town. I think they were making the Adelaide railway station. And so he come down and worked in the cement on their Adelaide railway station. But uh, he couldn't work the glass asses. Well, not during the day, probably after after work he would have helped Mum to work the glass houses, uh, but he had to go to work, mm -hmm. even though he was living here. And when your dad was in Alice Springs, who helped your Mum in the gardens? Well, <laughs> we were too small to, to work, but uh, she probably had to do it by herself, I think. Mm. And uh, but to take the vegetables to market, uh, she would have had a. There was merchants in in town, so she must have had some uh, somebody to pick up the vegetables mm. from market from town. Yeah. The Adelaide East End Market. And I remember you telling me a story about your mum uh, taking you and your brother. Um, in the night time when your dad was in the Northern Territory. you yeah. go for a walk. Yes, well, we uh, had the Tonelados and uh, Piovis and family, say, 500 kilometre or half a kilometre away, and uh, near the Boxdorn hedges, uh, we'd, there was a little track that from one property to another that we'd walk through, and uh, Mum would say, there that moon would be in Alice Springs uh, in a few hours time that uh, your dad will be seeing it too so never forget them words mm -hmm. that we were, she had to buy her hand you know to me and my brother and uh, because she like, didn't like to be by herself so they were a bigger family there and so she'd a couple of hours two or three hours uh, pass the time that way.